Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and today I'm in a car park to tell you everything you need to know about the pied wagtail. A car park might seem like a strange place to start a wildlife fact file, but the reason for this is simple. Urban pied wagtails have made a name for themselves as car park dwellers. These black and white birds are a subspecies of the white wagtail, which is found across most of Europe, Northern Africa, Asia, and even occasionally breeds in Western Alaska. They have a wingspan of up to 30 centimeters, grow to weigh just 27 grams, and their most notable feature is their constantly wagging tail. There have been a few suggestions for why they do this, including communicating with one another and for flushing out insects, but the leading theory is that it is a signal to predators that they are healthy and alert and will get away if chased. In southern England, they don't migrate large distances, but can move to good feeding areas such as farmland during the colder months. For the rest of the year, they can be found in pretty much any open habitat, including parks, beaches, wasteland areas, and along freshwater courses. The birds from the more northern part of the country do migrate in colder years, and have been known to travel as far as Africa to spend the winter. For the most part, a pied wagtail's diet is made up of insects, and they are particularly fond of flies, which they expertly snatch from the air. They will also feed on seeds and scraps where invertebrates are in short supply. Nesting starts from mid-April, when the female alone creates a nest of twigs, grass, dead leaves and moss lined with hair, wool and feathers. These are often in rock crevices, hollow trees or holes in walls, but they'll also nest directly on the ground and sometimes on top of the abandoned nests of other birds. The female then lays five or six speckled blue-white eggs, which the pair share the incubation of for 12 to 14 days. After the chicks hatch, both parents feed them in the nest until they fledge at around two weeks of age. After fledging, the lighter coloured young birds follow their parents around, constantly begging for food. This lasts for a further two to three weeks, after which point the young move out of the territory and the parents start nesting again. Each pair can have two to three broods in a year, although those in upland areas may only attempt to nest once in a season. Pied wagtails have a long history alongside people, and as such have developed several nicknames over the years. These include Penny and Polly Dishwasher. It's thought that this was given to them as they would often be seen in the same areas where people would wash their pots and pans before homes had running water. In the winter in urban areas, pied wagtails can form really large overnight roosts of up to 3,000 birds. Unfortunately, I can't show you this, as there are no copyright free images on the internet, but it's worth a Google. There are currently around 470,000 breeding pairs of pied wagtail in the UK, and they are one of the few species whose numbers are actually increasing here. In the world, they have an average lifespan of 2 years, but one bird was recorded at 11 years and 3 months of age. Well there we go, hopefully you learned something new. If you did, check out this other British wildlife video and if you like that, then subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.